We're here with Chris Gebhardt from NetApp. Chris, thanks for joining me. Thank you very much for having me. Can you tell me a little bit about what you do at NetApp? I'm a principal technical marketing engineer. I'm focusing on end user computing and virtualization. And uh, I'm doing things uh, along the lines of, you know, working with end user computing and HCI, uh, testing, doing some reference architectures, looking at our, the scalability. I'm also working on uh, some of the, the technology around the VMware Cloud on AWS and how we integrate our products and services around that. VMware on AWS, my understanding is that's a collaboration only between VMware and AWS and it's based around vSAN. How is NetApp involved in that at all? VMware and the VMware Cloud on AWS solution is, uh, has a vSAN component. And um, while that meets some customers' needs, um, there are opportunities for uh, customers and, and desires from customers that want to do more uh, than use vSAN for storage, right? They may have on tap on-prem already and they want to be able to replicate and do different things in the cloud or next to the cloud. Uh, and so what we're trying to do is build solutions and, uh, and really do the, the first pass at testing to understand what in our portfolio today works with the VMware, VMware Cloud offerings and what can we work with VMware and AWS to uh, be able to do in the future, right? To, to be able to make that, um, whether you're on-prem or in the cloud, leveraging the same data management capabilities that you do today on-prem, also in the cloud. So what's the vision? Is it something along the lines of running on tap cloud and dropping that into an, uh, a VMware cluster running on AWS? Very, very close, yeah. So, you know, this is, as with their product and, and how they are rolling it out, um, it's going through different milestones uh, of development, right? And so uh, the first thing that we're looking to do with them is, you know, uh, we first established that we are going to partner together to create solutions around uh, VMC, which is the, which is what they call it, or VMware Cloud specifically, um, and ONTAP. And so we're we're thinking, what are the things that we can do to uh, provide data services to uh, the virtual machines uh, to potentially do, you know, to be an underlying data store, right? So we're testing to make sure that we can connect the two VPCs together. We can, you know transmit traffic, that the performance of VMC is equivalent to what they would see in an equivalent EC2 instance. And so um, we're, those are the first steps, right? Then we're going to evolve eventually into more, you know, NPS related and really trying to bring in that data fabric a vision that we have into that VMC offering so that, you know, regardless of where you're at, um, we can help you achieve your, your business objectives, uh, you know, for DR, for, t you know, expansion into the cloud, those types of things. Okay, so I'm starting to get a little bit of a, an idea of what this vision might look like. Customer might have an on-premises FlexPod, for example, running uh, VMware as their hypervisor, and they want to get that data up into the cloud, or maybe they have a cloud strategy. They could spin up a VMware cluster in AWS, connect an ONTAP cloud instance into that and do a native SnapMirror replication up there? Absolutely, so you're, you're exactly right. They spin up an SDDC, right? Software Defined Data Center in Amazon running vSphere. It's using, you know, vCenter as the management plane. Um, that spins up, you then spin up your ONTAP cloud instance, you connect the two VPCs together, you start replicating from on-prem those data sets that you want to work with uh, in in AWS or in in VMC, um, and then being able to uh, you know guest attach today um, to those data sets, and then you know they you can also use all the services in the AWS marketplace. So you have your VM running your applications, accessing your data, and you can also use all the other AWS services uh, it, along with the VMC instance. So a lot of power there. That's this is a really fascinating use case. Thank you so much. All right, thank you.